Hi everyone out there. Remember in my last video, I said I will talk about three things. Okay? So, one is eye blocking, shoulder stroking, and lip locking. So now, what is eye blocking? Eye blocking is when somebody is talking and they're looking down. They're not giving an eye contact. Their eyes down and they're, they're talking. So they are trying to tell you there is something they are not sharing with you. There is something they don't want you to see. There is something that is beyond they don't want to share. So uh, it's just like your phone. Our phone, we have our fingerprint. We also have a digital number that we have to put in in order to get into the phone. Why do we do that? Because there is something in the phone that we don't want you to see or have access to. It's, it's not like it's none of your business, but we have to do that. So when somebody is doing eye blocking, they don't want you to see something. For example, if you receive a phone call, when you are in a meeting or in a public area, you know, in a naming ceremony and somebody call your phone, usually we tend to do eye blocking. We go like this, hey, uh, I'm so sorry, I'm in a meeting right now or I'm, in a, I'm at a naming ceremony, I, I can't hear you, so I will call you back later, okay? So we do that. Or you can take the phone call and look at the people around you in their eyes or whatever is in front of you and say, hey, how you doing, man? What's up, man? Uh, what's going on? And they are talking to you. <clears throat> now, the other person on the other end of the line, they will tell you, hey, I don't think you are listening to me. And you'll be like, why? I say, I'm, not, I'm listening. You know, no, you are not listening because they will, they will realize that there is a delay in your response. Your response will be delayed. Why? Because you have been distracted by the visual data that is in front of you. You are looking around the people in your eye or you are looking around whatever that is in front of you and that is distracting you and it's causing a delay in your response. So they will know. Now, moving on, let's go to uh, uh, shoulder stroking. This is shoulder stroking. Shoulder stroking. When you're talking to somebody and they do shoulder stroking, that means they are, not, they are uncertain. Shoulder stroking means uncertainty. They are not sure. For example, if I say, what is the capital city of the Gambia? And if you don't know, you'll be like, I don't know. So this is, this is consistent with what you are saying. You say you don't know and your body say you are not sure. So it makes sense. But if somebody say, hey, uh, can, you come, can we go out on a brunch tomorrow? And they say, yeah. So you are saying yes, but your body is doing shoulder stroking. That means you are not sure of what you are saying. So these are the people, they will, do, they will tell you yes and they will do shoulder stroking. And the next thing they will text you and say, hey, I'm so sorry, I cannot make it. Because they send you the cues that you don't detect. So that's, that's the shoulder stroking. When we are not sure of what we are saying. Now the last one is um, lip locking. This is lip locking. Or we go like this. It's when our lip disappear. So when does our lip disappear? Our lips only disappear when we don't... When two things happen. One, we don't like what we see. Or two, we don't like what we hear. So, for example, if you are in a meeting or you are at work, you are doing a presentation in front of your boss and your boss's boss and everybody is sitting right there and you're trying to convince them in a project that you're trying to work on. Now, in the middle of your presentation and you realize that uh, your boss or your boss's boss is doing lip locking. Hmm. So, once you realize that, you should just post. Stop right there. Stop right there and then... And, and ask questions. Say, okay, does it make sense? Does this make sense? Like, whatever I'm saying, does it make sense? Or you can say, do you guys have any questions? Is there anything you want to say? You know, so you do, the, you do with an open arm. That means this open palm like this, it means you, you are welcoming whatever that is coming in. Whatever they want to share, you are going to welcome that in. Okay? So give them the opportunity and the power to say something by allowing them to answer that question. Okay, so uh, this is so we talk about three things. We talk about eye blocking, shoulder stroking, and then lip locking. So in my next video, we will talk about um, the four different cues channels: nonverbal, verbal, vocal, and imagery, and what they means. Okay, and then uh, if there if there is time, we will talk about uh fronting and then we can talk about charisma all those things okay so basically bas uh, gradually we will learn how to read other people's body language in order to understand them and communicate communicate with them better thank you